Welcome back to Uncompromising Mode, turn two, everyone. And as you could have guessed, the world is about to burn. Some of it by my hand, but most of it from uh, some upcoming, recently changed summer big bats. Trust me, we'll talk about them in a minute. Son of a gun! It can happen more than once, everybody. All right, then. <laughs> Hello, Moon Tear. Honestly, kind of scared me a little bit. But yeah, speaking of frights, uh, the Dragonfly of Uncompromising Mode may or may not work like it does in Reign of Giants, aka Solo Don't Starve. And uh, Solo Don't Starve Dragonfly is a lot harder than Don't Starve Together's Dragonfly, believe it or not. So I need to be prepared. Oh, I've also done absolutely bupkis when it comes to actually preparing for summer in general, apart from covering base. So, you know, I'm kind of scrambling a little bit. Oh boy, the summer's gonna come in hot, and I get the feeling it's gonna stay hot. Oh good, a night terror, everybody. Just what I need when I'm preparing for inevitable death. More inevitable death. Oh no, everybody, it's the freaking tick one. No, 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 no. Oh, I wonder what happens, though, if you have a full inventory during this one. If you don't remember, we had this one in the first attempt. These ticks enter your inventory, and they start draining your health immediately. And if you don't get them out of your inventory, yeah, you're kind of screwed. But I think I can get away by literally just getting away. So, you know, that's good. But so far, so good on all fronts, everybody. Apart from this little inopportune rain. Yeah, trying to get uh, fast charcoal is not really gonna be a thing. But what did that trip serve, you ask? Oh, a lot, everybody. One, endothermic for base, because I'm probably still gonna be chilling around here. Two, endothermic fire for when I'm wandering around. Three, apparently the game really wants to throw night terrors my way, and you know what? I don't blame it, because I've kind of not been getting them as frequently as I did last time, but whatever. Uh-oh. I think I might have just heard... Oh, rats, everybody. Okay, all right, I mean, it's not that bad. I do have all this jam, but I do kind of feel like I heard a rat in the darkness. And by the way, it's one of those uh, night terrors that doesn't seem to want to start immediately, which is the worst flipping ones. But back to the regularly scheduled program, we also needed Niter for gunpowder, everybody. Not much, I can only make 17 of the stuff, which is barely enough for what I needed for today. So thank goodness for that. But last and certainly not least, Desert Goggles, everybody. All right, it's time to have a little bit of an exchange. Let's put this in here, sure. Desert Goggles for when we look to face down the Antlion. But I'm going to intentionally delay that fight for a bit. But don't worry, I'm only being secretive for now. In a couple days, we are going to be in the midst of it. I'm just trying not to spoil what's coming. But with the final day of spring approaching everybody, we need food, we need heals. Other than that, I think we're golden. Oh, of course, the game had to throw one last wrench into the freaking mix right on the final day. All right, hello pollen mites. This is so dumb, okay, okay. Um, all I really have to do is get them on me. Get them on me, get them all on me. Come on, come on, come on, please get over here, get over here, get over here. Get on me, get on me, get on me. Yeah, you slow down when these guys are on you, but as long as I do this. Oh, you also take damage too, so don't take too long. Take some damage. Oh my gosh, they're, they're popping up like crazy. No, 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 get on here, get on here. Let's burn, let's burn, let's burn. All right, well, I was thinking I need the healing for the fights upcoming, but apparently I just freaking need it now. <laughs> Pollen mites at the final day. Oh, that was kind of annoying, but we're good, we're good. Can things please stop showing up in my base last minute? I'm trying to do things last minute. <laughs> Here comes a fleshy bulb now. Oh yes, definitely heard rats, everybody. Ow, definitely heard flipping rats. Okay, this is, um, like I said, summer, coming in hot. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot happening in a very 
short amount of time. But boy, let me tell you, I am glad hay fever is gone. Ooh, that thing was really flipping annoying. But we need heals, as I said, but I got a little sidetracked from everything. And this is not what I had in mind, but it will do just fine. But pretty soon, an old friend's gonna visit, and then we'll go see another summer friend in their turf. That's the plan. All that said though, I'm not exactly sure when that visit from an old friend is supposed to happen. So I could always do that second bit first. No, you can't, Beard. You're an idiot. You're forgetting why you had to delay Antline a little bit because you want to see her new enrage mechanic. Right, forgot my own plan. The one problem with this plan, everybody, it's a waiting game. And I kind of knew it going into it. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Nature at work, everybody. Nature at work. I see Mama has taken care of her babies recently. But yes, let me be honest, folks. Um, summer in uncompromising mode is oddly very uneventful. And I'm not too sure why. Because even this upcoming autumn has some really crazy things coming. Oh, but I might stand corrected. I think I just heard... S oh my goodness. Um, I think the game heard me. I think the game heard me talking crap, everybody. Okay, uh, that old friend is coming. Oh yes, coming indeed. <laughs> Hello, Dragonfly. But yes, everyone, this is the Wilting Dragonfly. It's technically the same raid boss dragonfly of this world, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But as you can see, way less health. Way less health. Again, think Reign of Giants dragonfly. No matter where you go, this thing is going to follow. And while it won't be hostile until you make it hostile, oh, this is great timing, it will spit. And yeah, you don't want that anywhere near your base. But let's talk what else separates this dragonfly from the other one, everyone. Um, a new attack. One, that's the same attack. This is the new attack. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad. That's bad. It has quite the range on it, too. It pretty much sets you on fire immediately. But, uh, that's what this ash is for. I'm gonna run away from this dragonfly. By the way, that was a bad time to drop that ash. If you run away from this dragonfly, it will uh, eventually de acro But yeah, everybody, that's a new, that's a new, that's a new attack. It's, it's not good. Okay, so it, it lost its aggro a little bit. Yeah, see, it lost its aggro a little bit. Then it calms down. I'll be able to drop this. It's gonna suck it up a little bit. This attack is complete bull, by the way. Complete bull. Complete, wait, what? Why did that happen? <laughs> Why did that happen? Okay, yeah. That thing has insane range on it. Uh, why did that happen? Weird. It's supposed to fall asleep. Oh, well. I guess I'll do it myself, folks. Pan flute, gunpowder, boom. Oh, it didn't actually kill him, though. <laughs> um, okay. I was not anticipating that, actually. This is not gonna end well, this is not gonna end well, this is not gonna end well, but I have no other choice. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's really bad, that's really bad, that's really bad, that's really bad. Okay, put this kind of sleep, put this kind of sleep, and then I can heal up, I can heal up, I can heal up. This is not a good idea. This is an awful idea, but it's the only idea I have right now. <laughs> it's the only idea I have right now, because I did not anticipate the uh, survival of the dragonfly right there, dead. Okay, whoo, okay, that was, that, oh, I was not expecting this though. It actually did drop its unique veteran's curse weapon. The slobber lobber, everybody. Ah, and that does remind me, I've been thinking. I either get all the veteran curse loot in this playthrough and then I activate the curse itself to have some fun, or I just make an entirely separate guide video on the veteran's curse loot itself. Hmm, yep. You know, I'm actually gonna leave that up to you. Oh, but the fight never ends, folks. Come home to get a little reprieve. Nope, night terror, great. Also, those rats are probably right around the corner. I want to go do Antlion, I gotta wait for Antlion, but, ooh, it's these guys. Okay, I was gonna say, do they still not like light when it's, uh, you know, 
endothermic lights. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad time, bad time, bad time. Hound wave coming too, everybody. Hound wave coming too. And as uh, you probably could have guessed, yes, there's also a uh, new... Um, what's my dukes? New firehounds that are even worse than the other firehounds when it comes to things burning right in front of you. Not good, not good, not good. Bats everywhere, hounds everywhere. Now I got these shadow slugs behind me. It's night. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, the game, the game might not like me, uh, blowing up Dragonfly, honestly. Oh, but rather annoyingly, I don't think we actually got any of the new firehounds. I don't see them blowing fire. They don't look different. I do notice, though, that if they hit you, you do get set ablaze. I mean, that's obviously a change. But yeah, I don't think they're the actual new firehounds that I thought they were going to be. Oh, but finally some good timing, everybody. Okay, okay, this is Antlion. And I hear she has some new things for us. Uh, so when these burst open, I'm pre Oh my gosh. She also screams, apparently. Uh, oh. You know, I probably should have actually aim those a little better. <laughs> I hear that they also might have the potential to uh, set things on fire nowadays. But I kind of didn't show that off properly, did I? Oh, okay. The rats might be coming, everybody. Just heard them and Wigfrid said something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I kind of have things covered, or at least I think so. I don't know. I've never had a successful rat raid before. Folks, I don't know when they're coming, if they're coming, yada, yada, yada. All I know is I got rain in summer, which is a rarity, and I thank you for it. I also know that we have a couple things to talk about. So I can't just sit around and wait for rats to show up. Nope, nope, nope. And one of the main talking points is, uh, well, the lack of dragonfly, question mark. Yes, indeed, everybody. Come summer, that wilting dragonfly is technically the raid boss dragonfly, as I said. So, it's not here. And it's not here for, like, the remainder of the season. So, if you're looking for a time to wall things off, this is it. Because you can wall all of them off. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that's kind of crazy. So, raid dragonfly is even easier now, since you can wall these off so quickly? Well, not exactly, because larvae explode nowadays, so they are gonna break walls. Hold up, I just thought of something though. Why do I need to kill this dragonfly? <laughs> I literally got a scale and the slobber lobber from the normal dragonfly that has way less freaking health. Right. This is honestly completely pointless. But hey, at least we passed the Moonstone on our way to our next objective, meaning all those walls I made could be used there, I suppose. But even then, I have the Moon Tier thing, meaning I can get a free Iridescent Gem. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of still a little bit wired into normal Don't Starve routines, but no, 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 no. I gotta think a little different here. But, uh... I'll have you know, Beardo still walks in the wrong direction, even in modded versions of this game. And now since I'm here, I'm also thinking, why am I fighting Antlion? Nothing's changed about her. <laughs> I looked it up. They didn't change anything about her fight. They only changed how her enraged thing works. Hmm. And even then, didn't even get to see that. <laughs> Remember how I said summer in uncompromising mode was oddly uneventful? But hey, I'm here. We might as well kill her, right? So I will say this. Another big change. If you are on a boat, her enraged attack is still gonna cause those little crater things. And that is not good. That is exactly why you should kill her immediately. But we're gonna kill her right now, everybody. All right, Antlion begins. Like I said, um, like nothing's changed. Ow, that was a really bad start, by the way. Nothing's changed about her, honestly, nothing. She still has the same amount of health. She deals the same amount of damage and uh, she doesn't have any more attacks or anything. It's literally the same Antlion fight. It's kind of weird, it's kind of weird, but hey, we'll deal with it. 
I will say maybe she does her little spike things a little faster when she gets a little low health, but other than that, it's it's the same fight. It, it really is legitimately just the same fight. By the way, there's also a new strategy to do this, and it might be better. When she's doing her spikes, go this way, go back. Go this way, go back. Go this way, go back. It kind of cleans things up in the middle, but hey, if you know what you're doing, well, <laughs> at Lion... It's still kind of outline, everyone. But with some old friends down and summer conquered, everybody, it's time. Time to start looking towards what's going to be a very eventful autumn in stark contrast compared to this one, I gotta say. But also, this girl. Don't start together's newest big bad. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a uh, brief look, and then I'm going to run out of here. <laughs> there she is. The Hooded Willow, everybody. The Hooded Willow. She's gonna try to throw silk at us, all that stuff. I really hope she can't follow me that far, by the way. Can you stay over there, please? That'd be great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I make a mistake? Might have made a mistake. Please just go back home. Did you go back home? <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a new boss, everybody. <laughs> that's a new boss. Whoo, and I am not looking forward to that. Oh, that's new, everybody. Oh, I kind of actually like that. So, I didn't set the for- Oh, I didn't set- Oh, frick me. I didn't set the forest ablaze, right? I just didn't. But, the game kind of thinks I did. And it spawned a tree guardian because of it. Um, yeah. Weird. Unless, of course, that has something to do with the potential night terror that I was on. Oh, that could be it. Maybe there's a night terror- that has a chance to make any tree into a tree guardian. That would make a little more sense actually, but even still, I still like that. I'm still kind of waiting for those rats to show up though, I am not gonna lie. Oop, we got another night terror, okie dokie. Oh goodness, it's a bad one, it's a bad one, it's a bad one, it's a bad one, it's a bad one. Big map fire bads, everybody. <laughs> Big old group. Wow, this one's actually brutal if it comes out of nowhere in a bad time. Wow, this big time vampire bats. And my gosh, Chester bloody took all the heat for me. Wow, thanks my dude. But before we wrap up the day, I'm hoping to talk about two more things while also hoping to see one final third thing that's uh, gonna make the first two things make a lot more sense. Number one, the scale chest, everyone. And you might be thinking, okay, that's not anything new. But, uh, that is. <laughs> that is new. Whoo, that's a lot of slots, everybody. 25, I believe? 25 slots in this thing. And guess what? If a rat goes through it, it dies. Number two, more jam, everybody. Because I don't know if this uh, potential upcoming attack is going to be an attack from the front or the back. But here's what I'm going to do, everybody. Wait. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> there are five days, about to be four days, left until summer is out of here. I'm going to wait probably two more days to see if any rats show up. And if they do, great. You'll hear about it. If they don't, we'll come back and I'll say again, it's got to be an anticlimactic end. Except for the fact when the hand shows up out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, I hate those things. <laughs> it's the hands one, everyone. Oh my gosh, scared the freaking crap out of me. Uh, also made me drop my thing, which is what these things do, of course. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad, actually. That's really bad, actually. Oh, good, and now apparently shadow spiders. Did you see that, everybody? Where the heck did that thing come from, and what was it? <laughs> oh, there it is, a mind weaver. How about no? How about no? How about no? How about just freaking no? You know what? No, because who knew? Standing around doing nothing? Boring, everybody. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is where we call it quits. Honestly? I think we can take some solace in the fact, though, that we have done so well to keep things clean that while I have heard the rats, they haven't really come yet. Hmm, we must have them on quite the delay. But we took down a somewhat new but very familiar dragonfly. We just had a fun little bout with Antlion. And, oh boy, everybody, uh, this autumn is about to be nuts. Berger has completely changed. 
Acid Rain is a thing. And let's just say Toadstool has some babies. And they're not nice ones. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.